everyone, welcome to the video tutorial for the twine and cork. <laughs> it's stuck under there. The twine and cork cat toy. Uh, Melba loves cork, so I uh, made this toy for her, and uh, it's, a, it's a great toy, so I really wanted to um, share the pattern with you. So uh, if you like this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, happy crochet and catch you soon. Okay, for the twine and cork cat toy, you'll need some twine. I'm using this one here, which is a soft craft twine. You can get uh, twine that's uh, from a, a hardware store. It just may not be quite as soft as this, but, you know, that, that could also be fine. You'll need a crochet hook. I'm using a 4mm. You'll need a darning needle. You'll need an eyelet screw. I'm using this one here. This is approximately one centimeter across. Um, if you've got one that's a different size, then it, that's also fine. Just make sure that the hook that you use can fit through the eye on the, on the screw. You'll need a cork. I recommend using natural cork. Uh, you'll need scissors. And you may or may not need a tape measure. So the length of this toy is fully customizable. I'm going to show you the length that I make it, but you can make it as long as you want. And you may or may not need a tape measure to measure that length. Okay, so to make this twine and cork cat toy, you'll need to know how to slip knot onto your hook, how to create a chain, how to single crochet, and then all it's going to take after that is just to attach your screw to your, your cork. And it's pretty much that simple. Oh, the la last thing you'll need to know is just how to weave in your one end. And it's a very simple beginner friendly project. So let's get started. Okay, to get started, slip knot onto your hook. And then you're going to chain 120. Now this is the... Um, the point where you can decide what whatever length you, that you want to make this. So I make this at 120 chains and it will depend on the exact twine that you're using and the exact hook size. But I'm going to chain 120. So go ahead and do that. Don't chain too tightly. Six. Okay, so I'm not going to make you watch me chain 120 so I'm going to go and do that off camera and uh, I'll meet you back once I've chained my 120. Now again if you want to make it longer or shorter you can certainly do that. It's um, This has a, ha a handle loop so it can fit on a door handle. You might have door handles that are higher or lower than mine but this uh, is the length that seems to work quite well. Just bear in mind also that um, the toy tends to stretch as your cat plays with it. Okay, I'll meet you back after I've done my 120 chains. Okay, so I've got my chain of 120 there. Now at this point, just make sure that you have your eyelet screw handy. I'm on a bit of an angle here, so that's not going to sit. For oh yes, there we go. Okay, so now chain one is a turning chain. And then we're going to work, in the second chain from the hook, we're going to work a single crochet. And at this point, we take the eyelet screw and we're going to work the screw into this, this, uh, this point here. So take your screw, insert your hook, and then place your screw over top of your hook. And then just complete a single crochet as you would normally, just pulling through the screw at the same time. And then do one more. So this is all into that, that second chain from the hook. And then do a third single crochet in that same chain. Okay, so now you've attached your eyelet screw. And from here, you're going to move to the next chain. Place three single crochets in that next chain. And then you're going to do that in each and every chain all the way along your 120. So three single crochets in each chain. And what you'll, you'll start to see happening, and it's already happening with my one here, is you'll start to get this curved effect, and it will eventually pigtail. And you may need to uh, adjust your, um, your curves so they, they move in a pigtail fashion, but um, you'll see it start to happen quite quickly. You can see it's starting to happen already here. I'll just do a few more, few more on 
camera. So three in each chain, three single crochets in each chain. It's really as simple as that. And move along to your next chain, three single crochets. And three. And here, hopefully you can start to see even better that I'm starting to get that little curved effect. Let's just push that screw down. I'm starting to get that little pigtail effect here. See, eventually you will have to probably work your, your pigtail in the right direction. But that's it. So keep working along. And uh, I'll, I'll join you when I've done a little bit more and I'll show you um, more fully the pigtail. But keep on going, three single crochets in each chain and I'll meet you soon. Okay, so I've done about half of my pigtail there. You can see that um, what will tend to naturally happen is some, some of the curves will be in the wrong way and others the right way. So you'll just have to go through and turn those the right way but you know you can I'm only halfway through but you you're probably best just to leave it till the end and and just do them all together and then you end up with this pigtail so keep going I've still got about half to go of my chain so I'll meet you when we're uh, back at the end of the chain okay so I'm just finishing off my last chain here got one chain just to insert three single crochets two and the third okay so just go through and make sure that your curves are all in the right way so you'll have that pigtail with you've got your eyelet screw on the end so now we'll make the make the handle so chain 30 here two Seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'll go through and I'll chain my uh, the rest of this chain. So this is making the the uh, door handle loop. So if you've got door handles that are larger than than this, maybe just um, check check out on on your particular door handle. But um, th I chain thirty here. You can chain less or chain more. The this whole pattern is fully adaptable to. The length and the size that you want so go ahead and you chain the the length that you want bearing in mind that this this chain will make the loop obviously be much bigger than that it's going to make the the loop for the either a door handle or to hold in your hand so um, I'll leave you to to chain the rest of your chain and I'll meet you back here once I've done my 30 okay so I've done my chain of 30 there and then you're going to just make a loop with this chain so find that last single crochet you placed in that last chain and just uh, so make sure that your chain is not twisted and just place a single crochet into that final single crochet that you did actually let me just redo that I'll just tighten that slightly so single crochet into that final single crochet of your pigtail pull that nice and tight and then you're just going to continue a single crochet in each chain all the way around so single crocheting in each chain now this actually let me just go back what I'll do here because I like to work in my tails, I'm going to start to work in my tail. You can sew that in at the end, but I like to or weave that in at the end. I like to work in tails wherever I can, because I'm not a big fan of weaving in tail ends. So I'm going to work that in as I go. So you can do either, whatever, whatever suits you. And just as if you're working it in as you crochet, just make sure that you're pulling it nice and tight okay so it, what that will help do too is just keep this area where the join is between the the handle loop and the and the pigtail it'll just help to keep that nice and secure around that that join area so just make sure you that you 
keep a little bit of tension on that tail end and then keep on working around until you've worked in enough of your tail end to make it nice and secure and like I said I'll pull on it again and just make sure I've got that nice and tight I'll go a little bit further Oops. Okay, and then once you feel like you've got enough of your tail end worked in, you'll snip off any excess. I'll just go just a little bit further. I just like to make that's nice, make sure that's nice and secure on this because. Uh, yeah, like I said before, you want to keep that area, that join area nice and nice and secure. And then just keep working around. So once you've worked in your tail, snip off that excess. And then just keep working around until you get back to the join area. Okay, so I'm back round at the join. And then you're going to go around one more time into each of the single crochets. Okay, just to make that nice, secure handle. So now once you've passed that join area, just keep working around once again, all the way around in one single crochet in each of your single crochets until you get back to the join. Okay, so I'm back round, uh, I've gone round my uh, single crochet again. I've just got these last few to, to finish off. So the, all these single crochet around the the door handle loop. So just make sure you overlap that little area by one or two single crochets. It doesn't matter how many. And then yarn over, pull through, and pull through enough to weave in. Snip off your tail. Okay, and then what you're going to do is eventually you're going to turn, just pull that pigtail through so it's the, it's the right way. And then you will take your darning needle and weave in this one tail end. I love a project that only has one tail end. So you'll weave it into the back side of the handle. So weave it in. So just you can go backwards and forwards a few times. Just just weave it into the back here. Now I didn't mention it when I at the beginning of the video, but why I choose to use this this uh, craft twine is because it's quite a lot softer, and not only for Melba, but uh, you know she's fine with the normal twine, and I have made them. Um, made a few of them with um, with hardware store twine, um, but it's just you get your hands get kind of sore using the um, the rough twine. So I I like to use this this soft craft twine, and the twine's great because it whatever you use, whether it's the soft or the the harsher twine. Um, the rough twine, it's it's great because it it's uh, excellent for claws. It'll help to um, help with uh, sharpening claws and, and keeping claws healthy and that sort of thing. So it's a great, it's a great material to use. Okay, and then so I'm just weaving that under underneath. I think I'll just go back just to secure it a little bit on this one. So work back through. I'll just go back a couple of times. And so like I said, this is this project's fully customizable as far as size goes, the hat size of the handle, the length of the of the toy. So heaps of leeway in, in how you make this. And this is just the twine version. You can um, I'll eventually post some videos um, making it with other materials. You could use paracord, macrame cord. You could use um, any scrap yarn that you've got. Um, it just won't, they won't be 
quite uh, apart from the paracord but the, this is really resilient and like I said it's great for claws this uh, this twine okay now all that's left is just to attach your cork onto the end of your screw and that's as simple as screwing it on so you just screw that on into the center of your cork and screw it right down to the end so it's nice and tight and there you have it your twine and cork cat toy and I if your cat is anything like Melba she will love or he or she will love these Melba is just mad about this toy she loves corks and she just adores this toy so I've made so many for her in uh, lots of various different forms and, and she just adores them. So there's another one for Miss Melba. So um, would, we would love to see your photos or, or videos of your cat playing with his or her twine and cork cat toy. So please send those along. You can email us at catventurous.community at gmail.com. You can also tag us on social media at catventurous.crochet or you can also tag Melba at Adventure Puss Melba. So um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, share and subscribe and uh, let us know in the comments below what you think and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome to the video tutorial for the twine and cork cat toy. Let's see if we can get Melba to play on cue. <laughs> no. Go on Melba. Come on. Come on. Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial for the twine and cork cat toy. I'm trying to entice Melba to come and uh, video with me, but she's she's not having it. She knows that it's a trick. She knows there's a camera there. Come on, Melba. Come on. Come on.